Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to today's video. Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So today we're going to be looking at what I believe is maybe a lesser known brand among resellers. Um, I've heard a few people maybe mention it, but to be honest, I don't think many people either, for one, know it's of good value or know it is even, you know, a brand or even something that you can pick up. Um, or maybe they do know know about it, but just don't really talk about it that much. But anyway, the brand we're going to be looking at is Mego. So we're going to be looking at a few different Mego figures that sell on eBay. So I've actually had a couple of fi uh, Mego figures before. I've had a Planet of the Apes figure and I've had what you can see on the screen now uh, is the fourth Doctor figure. Um, and I was very, very tempted to keep the fourth Doctor figure. Now, for whatever reason, my computer isn't allowing me to go into these listings. I'll show you what I mean. Normally, what I would do is I would go on here and then I'd click see original listing and the item would pop up. But you can see there, it's telling me... The listing you're looking for is no longer available. Check out this similar item. So I can't actually show you in the normal kind of sales update view that I would uh, that I would do. So I don't know why that's happening. Um, I have managed to do it on a few of the different tabs up here. Um, but what we're going to have to do is just look at it in this view. So I apologize about that, but hopefully you can sort of still see the uh, figure there. So, I'm looking at this listing here that's highlighted in purple. Uh, this is the Doctor Who Dennis Fisher slash Mego. So, I believe Dennis Fisher might have been associated with Mego or they might have been the same company or something like that. They mainly did figures throughout the 70s and I believe maybe a little bit in the early 80s as well. There might have been figures slightly before that, but the 70s was kind of a lot of the best Mego figures were kind of produced then. Um, so, yeah, this figure has the heart... The heart? The hat and the scarf, even, if I can get my words out. Um, and it's from 1976 there, as you can see, uh, which would have been, I think, season 14. So it was a decent season, but n not not Tom Baker's best season, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to know my opinion, one of the best seasons of Dot 2 ever was season 13. Uh, but that's just me, and I'm sure other people will agree with me and disagree. But anyway, um, yeah, so... He's got his hat and his scarf, um, really, really good quality clothing on this figure. And as you can see, on bids, it went for 47 quid plus postage. I had this figure with the hat and the scarf, and, I, and that was a few months ago now, and I got 40 quid plus postage on buy it now. And it took a while to go, so maybe prices have come up, uh, come up in the last sort of six months to a year, because it's probably getting on a year ago now, actually, when I had this figure. So you never know, prices might have come up, actually. So obviously, when you're looking for this figure, make sure it has the accessories, because that's really going to bump it up in price. You can see above it here... Vintage 1976 Mego Tom Baker Dot 2 figure without the scarf and the hat only got 12.50 on bid. So you can kind of see that hat and that scarf might give it a, a bit more appeal. So because um, obviously that's his uh, his trademark look. So um, yeah, pretty cool figure there. And you probably when you're going to be finding these is maybe if you're digging through someone's personal collection or something like that. You're gonna, it's gonna be hard to find these at car boots or charity shops. But I thought I would do this video just to advance your knowledge a little bit, and maybe you know if you see them out in out and about, or you you maybe digging through someone's personal collection, you then you know to to buy it. Then obviously you can you can be aware of them. Now the only thing with the Mego figures is they don't really have a, as far as I'm aware, they don't have a branding on them. They don't say Mega on the foot or anything like that. But you can kind of see, you know, you can kind of know, you can judge that that is a Mega figure just in the way that it's made, in the quality of the fabric, all that sort of stuff. And also then you can cross-reference that with an eBay listing just to see if yours looks pretty much identical to one that sold on eBay as well. Um, but next is this 1972-1975 Mego Batman figure. And this has got its cape, um, $27.99 as you can see there, plus postage. So this guy got a decent sale on this figure. I don't know who it was who was Batman in the 70s. I'm thinking... Maybe Adam West, that's all like, I, I don't really follow DC or Marvel or anything like that. I'm not really into the whole comics and superheroes and stuff. Um, even though I like sci-fi, I don't like that sort of sci-fi. Like, it's, I don't know why, it just, 
it just doesn't appeal to me opposed to Doctor Who and time travel and all that. I like I suppose I like the time travel more than more than like the the superheroes and superpowers and stuff. Um but yeah, so anyway, Without further ado, we will stop rambling and get on with this. So yeah, twenty seven ninety nine, nice little figure to pick up. You never know, you might be able to find this one in the wild. Obviously, it seems like a bit of a cheaper figure. Maybe that's due to the fact it's not as rare, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was that one. Next is something I had to include. This was the vintage figure Mega Hulk. Um, this says Pocket Superhero, so I'm assuming that this is a much smaller figure. And it's of a different line, you know, like this little pocket superheroes line. You can see there actually it's a prox four inches, so yeah, it is quite a small figure. And even though it is quite a small figure, it still demanded a really good price of 22 quid. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a different figure. It doesn't look as good quality as the other Mego stuff that I've seen, but still, obviously, that is one to look at. But I'm just going to say, ah, there is something on it. Marvel CG1975 Hong Kong. So maybe that's on certain one of these, you know, these pocket superheroes. Maybe that's what you're looking for. But I don't think on the other ones there's actually any brand, you know, specific branding on it or um, any, you know, any sort of writing. So you have got to just judge it by your own eye, really, and, and get better at judging what is a Mego figure. So next is something obviously I've gone I've gone back to this view for because I couldn't get it up. Um, so Mego style Planet V8 Soldier. Uh, we've got one there that went for fifteen quid. But I wanted to show you a no Where is it down here? It's not down here, is it? It's oh yeah, it is it should be on this first page? Where is it? There, that one. So vintage Mega Planet V8 Soldier. This was the one I had, but I had it with the gun, which this guy's got, and I had it with the coat as well. And I believe I got about 35 quid by it now. So this one's gone for quite cheap on auction. Obviously, he's not got the coat though, um, and it, it was pretty much the exact same figure, but obviously just the, with the coat and the uh, gun. Um, and yeah, that's quite a cool one to pick up. Obviously, there's loads of different variants of these Planet of the Apes ones. You've got loads of different sort of characters. Uh, there's a few that's been sold uh, in uh, no uh, in the US actually uh, that are boxed there for very very good money. Uh, we've got another one there, Mega Planet of the Apes Soldier, 29 quid, uh, best offer. So you can see some of these figures go. Uh, oh, is that yeah? That's Doctor Zeus. I whenever I say Doctor Zeus, they always want to go Amadeus, Amadeus. I don't know why, but it, it's probably because it rhymes. And it was on The Simpsons as well. But anyway, um, vintage Mega Planet V8 TV series eight-inch figure Peter Burke doll. Uh, yeah, some of the uh, some of the human figures of these Mega Planet V8 go for really good money. I don't know why that is. Maybe the human figures appeal to people more than the you know the ape figures. I don't know. Um, but you can see there's like, but this is a bundle of uh, Mego figures actually here for 42 quid plus postage. So we've got a decent price on that. But I suppose, to be honest, if you split them down, you might be able to get more. Um, although saying that the Doctor Who figure doesn't have his sc scarf in his hat, so that detracts value. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. That was the Planet of the Apes. You can see there's loads of different Planet of the Apes that are worth money. You, I think that must be a... Uh, yeah, that's a Mego spacesuit or something, so they've even got like 18 quid for that, which is crazy. Um, but some of these are international sales, so you've got to take them with a little bit of caution. And we've got another Mego Planet of the Apes there for 26 quid on bids. And then finally was Vintage Mego, the Fonz, Fonzie Happy Days 8-inch action figure, 1976 again. Um, this doesn't seem as high-end, but certainly... If you know, you might get lucky and you might get 30 or 40 quid for it. Um, but this one's gone for 19.99 on buy it now. But as you can see under here uh, on in April, um, we've actually got one's gone for 32 quid plus postage. So I don't know, maybe it's just kind of if you know, if the collectors are looking for them at a certain time, they're gonna pay up for them. Um, if not, then we might go for a little bit cheaper. I don't know, maybe this guy's just undersold it slightly. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the Fonz figure there. There's loads of different Mego figures. These are by no means all of them. There's absolutely loads. But I just thought I'd take a little selection of them to show you them. And obviously then you can go away after this video if you would like and do a little bit more research on eBay. Find a few more figures, get them in your brain, lock them away. And then obviously you've got that knowledge for in the future if you see them out and about or if you're digging through someone's personal collection or whatever of action figures and they're ending up selling it off or something 
that's probably the prime place you're going to find them. Or maybe you go into an auction and you might find them in one of the auction boxes. That's probably another place um, if it's maybe a slightly higher end auction. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please go down below and give it a like. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.